You're watching Coin 6 News with Emily Burris and Travis Tyke watching out for you. Hey, welcome back. Well, the joint is jumping over at Hopscotch as the location has a new art exhibit called Keep Portland Yummy. Hmm, Core Harlan live there this morning with a preview into this new yummy edition at Hopscotch. Good morning, Core. This is a really cool addition to a really cool place here at Southeast 10th and Belmont. I have Nicole Jensen with me who kind of runs the place and inspires this place. This is cool. I just wanted to show you this room here. If you haven't been in here, just because of the cool, this is the entryway, right? So this is really cool, uh, but it's just the entryway. It's just the beginning of what is really a neat, neat place to come on in Southeast Portland here. It's a uh, Portland's, what is it, Nicole? Permanent art, yeah, immersive art immersive, experience. Immersive art experience. Immersive art experience. Now that is art that you can, you can get interact into. You can interact with, right? you can play with, kind of the guest finishes a lot of the art pieces, so they are become part of the art themselves. So this is not Grandma and Grandpa's art gallery. Correct. Which is really cool. <laughs> the chairs in here, the lounge, you come in here and get a, something to drink, yeah, kind of something to eat. We welcome right? you in, get comfortable, grab a bite to eat, grab a cocktail or a non-alcoholic beverage. You can take those through the experience with you, so it's really just about getting comfortable having fun with whoever you're with let's check out this new exhibit because uh, as an artist I want to introduce you to her name is Anna Sweet from uh, Charlotte North Carolina originally and the uh, name of this exhibit is uh, keep, Portland yummy. keep Portland yummy I'm sorry about that let's don't you're backing yeah, away too many women do this when I walk towards them they back <laughs> away from me I apologize this is an exhibit of uh, your your artwork and you focused on donuts in this whole hall here. Tell me why and, and how that came to be. Well, it's sculptural pop art. I grew up in an art gallery and my dad would take me to Krispy Kreme every morning before church on Sundays. And I felt like it was a good ode to Portland when I moved here. Being in wine country, I wanted to create something more food inspired to compare with that wine. These, the, uh, the three most popular donuts you say, the donut displays are this one in front of the us. The Pendleton, is, right? yeah, pretty iconic organ. I uh -huh. think people, a lot of people relate to this piece. Uh -huh. The Pendleton uh, logo here and a couple of these blanket designs. They have a little native twist to them to me too. I Definitely, 100% right? yeah. inspired by that. Others, uh, what? Which, what's your other one? The Simpsons, ones? so uh -huh. I'm sure a lot of you recognize this, the Homer Simpson iconic donut, uh -huh. uh, said to be inspired by an organ town. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. And then back here again, this is this is an obvious one, Krispy Kreme here, Krispy right? Krispy Kreme, the OG, the original inspiration. <laughs> and then uh, some more of this over here. You have worked donuts into just about every bit of pop culture that you can imagine <laughs> here, including Pac-Man. Yeah, the gaming culture of Portland has inspired this piece, and this was the most challenging piece to date to be able to create something that's a little bit outside of my original design. It was a lot of fun to create. So when you came here, you look at Portland, you figure out what the key components of Portland's pop culture are, and you work them into some of your donut art. I think that's like, how right? I get a lot of people to relate to it. I mean, obviously we all love donuts, the American culture, but then layering that on top with more specific themes is really fun. This will be here through October. Is that correct? I'm getting a head nod, yes. This will be here uh, through October. It's really cool part of a really neat exhibit here that takes you a while to walk through. This is uh, one of the final things that you'll see here. They have a gift shop out here. And check these out here, too. These are little, like, what are these, acrylic? These are called the Yummy Bear. Yeah, they're sculptural, and they're made out of a acrylic composite. With donuts in the belly already. There you go, Travis and Emily. Hopscotch Southeast, 10th and Belmont. Check it out here. They've been here almost a year. This will be here for a while. It's cool to kind of take some of this stuff in. And again, you can do this with a drink in your hand. You're a winery person also, taking some of the pretentiousness out of winery. You can do this with a drink in your hand, walking through the exhibit, get something to eat, something to drink, and check out some cool, immersive, non-threatening, approachable art. Immersive mm. art as well, and it looks tasty. Yeah, it's like the whole time it looks like it looks like Willy Wonka to me. It's right? like the schnozberries taste like schnozberries. <laughs> you'll, you'll, leave, you'll leave happy and hungry. Maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's funny. Yeah, uh, she's a winery person. The, the Artist Block Wine is, mm -hmm. a, is a fantastic winery out in wine country, and their tasting room in uh, in Newburgh has a very similar installations oh. it's, all over. It's, it's very really neat. cool. I have been to it. They do movie yeah. nights, mm -hmm. and and their food is outstanding. It's, an I, awesome it, it, it's spot. a really really cool spot. It's cool to that this is in Portland now. You don't have to drive all the Yes, and Hopscotch is such a fun place to go, yeah, especially when you need to be indoors because mm. maybe the weather's changing. But oh, I had a blast look at that. going. Yeah, there you <laughs> so go. There's, ideas. There's an insider tip. Yeah, if you're looking for some indoor activities over the next few mm -hmm. days, Hopscotch might be the place